Shalom, giving all glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, by Shem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone, who rule and teach well. Peace, love, salutation to the elect 144 first fruit. As you see on here, if it doesn't apply, let it fly. It's a good quote. If it doesn't apply, so if it does not apply, let it fly. The uh, reason I'm coming with this lesson is uh, if you apply this simple quote right here into your life, your life can come, uh, especially mentally, uh, it could become way easier. There may be certain things that um, in your life that just doesn't apply to you. Um, certain things in your life that you just can't control. So don't let it stress you. It doesn't apply to you. So if you're always uh, stressed on the things that you can't control or uh, you get offended. I know there's been lessons out there. Um, I know Elder Aratazal and Bishop Tazawam did a stream talking about if you're easily offended. I know there's a quote out there that says, uh, if you're easily offended, you're, you're, you're easily manipulated. That's because you're letting things that does not apply to you offend, get to you, which brings in offense. But if it doesn't apply to you, why are you even worried about it? So if it doesn't apply, let it fly. That's simple. Um, but I'm going to get a precept here. Proverbs 22 and 17 says, Bow down thine ear and hear the words of the wise and apply thine heart unto my knowledge. So the things that you're supposed to be um, intrigued about or inclining your ear to is the instructions of the Lord. It's something that does apply to you. Something that you can control because what what do we always say? We try to keep the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of our ability. The best of your ability is in your control. You know what you can and can't do and if you have the ability to do something or not. Of course, it's uh, to every brother's perspective uh, walk. Some brothers may not be able to do certain things another brother may, but are striving after it, but still trying to apply it. You see, now I'll say this. Certain things that go on when you're uh, in the world, okay? Because we still have to go to work, still have to be around these worldly ass people and shit like that. They may say something to you, you know, which comes off as, you know, whatever. It really doesn't apply to you because whatever they have to say does not matter. The scriptures talk about in the Apocrypha that opinions are vain, meaning they hold no weight, you know? Or I'll say this too, even if a brother, if a brother, a spirit hits a brother, say it's just a group, say y'all in a group of um, 10 brothers and it just, the spirit just heavily falls on a brother to exhort, admonish, you know, the, um, the group at the moment, maybe saying something that needs to be addressed to the camp because he may have seen something in the spirit, but you may not be the one, you know, Doing the, you know, whatever, uh, you know, schism or whatever that's seen through the spirit that has to be addressed. You may not be the one doing it. So why do you um, why would you get offended on it? You can listen to it. You can hear it out. And even hearing it out could better yourself. You may not be the one doing it, but it doesn't apply to you. He may be speaking in the spirit. Directly or indirectly. To an individual in the camp that needs to correct their actions and it will apply to them. So don't get offended when it just may sound like uh, you're just being rebuked for something you didn't do. You extract the things that you need to apply to your life or that the brother is saying to you. And don't get offended to the things that do not apply, apply to you. Let it fly. But hear it, hear it. But OK, that doesn't apply to me. I know that doesn't. Because you don't, you know, someone who gets offended will automatically be like, mm, man, he got something against me. Mm, 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 mm. I didn't even do that. I, like, if you didn't do it, then it doesn't apply to you. <laughs> the spirit is bringing it up for a reason because it applies to somebody. It just may not be you. And to make your life easier, if it does not apply, let it fly. Because that's something that's you shouldn't be worried about because you weren't doing it. Or even in the in the world, um, I'll give you a prime example. Shit, today, I'm on my lunch break at work. I was up at Argonne, you know, 
supervisor, boss, whatever, slave master, you know, taskmaster came. He's like, I need everybody to stop what you're doing and have to address the, the entire team. I'm like, okay, what does dude guy say? What does woman guy say? And she was like, um, I need you because I, I pretty much take calls. And she, I need y'all to take a certain amount of calls. Um, I've noticed lately that we haven't been hitting our quotas for the certain amount of calls, and some of you need to do that. Me hearing that, I was like, that doesn't apply to me because when I come to work, I do my job and I do it to the best of my ability, and I do make the quota every single day. So I'm not offended. You see what I'm saying? If it applies to somebody else, that's on them. But didn't apply to me. So I let it fly. I was like, oh, is you talking about that? And I ain't worried. Is this many calls? Well, I get twice that many. So I'm not worried. You ain't talking to me. So I'm not offended by it. And even if you were talking to me, you would take it as a uh, as a correction, which is good. So you correct yourself and become better. All right, I'm going to read this one more time. Proverbs uh, 22 and 17, bow down thine ear and hear the words of the wise. Regardless if it applies to you or not, hear it out. Hear it out because it's still wisdom at the end of the day. Uh, The scriptures even talk about it in um, Sirach. I forgot what chapter, but pretty much it tells uh, admonish a friend. I want to say I want to say it's... um, 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 chapter 12. Let me see if I can get it real quick. Bear with me, Akim. Oh, let's see. Ecclesiastic is 12. Lord willing, it is. Pretty much says admonish, uh, admonish. Now, you may not have done it, so he doesn't do it. If I could find it, I don't think it's 12. Matter of fact, I'll, I'll, I'll just write it in there. Admire. Hope I spelled it right. That was 19. That's a lot here. Ecclesiasticus chapter uh, 19, verse 13. It says, admonish a friend. It may be he hath not done it. And if he have done it, that he do it no more. So that goes into the application of things. If you admonish your friend, you give him advice. He may have not have done it, but you prevented, you may have prevented him from doing something and going down the wrong path. You still hear the admonishment, even though it doesn't technically apply to you. But it could help you in the long run since you heard the admonishment. You always listen to the spirit. Verse 14, it says, admonish thy friend. It may uh, be he hath not said it, and if he have, that he speak it not again. Admonish a friend, for many times it is, <clears throat> and for many times it is a slander, and uh, believe not every tale. See, so sometimes you get admonished for something you didn't do. Don't take offense to that. Don't be a little sissy baby. Oh, I didn't do it all. Okay, I'm not saying you did. <laughs> Just, just listen, hear me out. It may, that brother may be admonishing you for something that he may have done that didn't go out, it didn't work out so well for him. So he gained, gained the wisdom and now he's telling you just out of the spirit. Don't get offended. You know what I'm saying? You, the brother be like, hey man, you don't need to be doing this, that, and the third. You know, you got different uh, tribes out there that come off different ways. You got a Reubenite. Hey bro, I need to talk to you. <laughs> I'm, you know, I'm being facetious, you know, playing around. Hey, bro, I need to talk to you. It may come off hard. I'm like, man, why is this dude cursing me out right now? I didn't even do that. Disregard how it's coming off. But apply the wisdom that he's laying on you. He's spitting game to you. It may seem like it's a certain way, but it's not. Or he can come off gently because the scriptures say, be gentle all men. Like, hey, bro, you know, I might, you may have not done this, but I just want to, you know, tell you anyway. It may not apply to you, but intake it anyway. You see what I'm saying? So in a sense, if it doesn't apply, still hear it out. <laughs> but the you know simple shit in the world that 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 quote still you know sets you know sets home. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. I Meaning, don't get offended on it. 
It's just admonishing you, just giving you some wisdom. Don't get offended. Don't take offense. It's helping your ass out. All right. I got one more precept. Uh, Proverbs 23 and uh, 12 says, applying thine heart unto instruction. Woo! Applying that heart unto instruction. The scriptures even, I'll say main example. You know, some brothers may not be capable of actually, you know, gardening or doing any husbandry. Maybe living in an apartment or something where it's kind of limited to the resources to do so. But the instruction on how to, you know, garden and the lots of land and things of that are still in the scripts and you still read it. Even though it may not apply to your certain situation, you still incline your ear to it. You see. It says, uh, uh, but in the in the meantime, did are you gardening? So just let it fly. It doesn't just apply to you. You may buy a house. And then end up wanting to garden. Well, now it's going to apply. It says, uh, apply that heart in, unto instruction and thine ears unto uh, and thy ears to the words of knowledge. Man, any time a brother's kicking game to you, man, just apply. Or if any brother's admonishing you, apply. But if it's not di directly of what you're doing, don't let it get you all bent out of shape. You know, a brother may be just telling you something that you just may need to hear you may not have done it but he's preventing something from happening it's preventative measures <laughs> don't get offense to it i'm gonna bring up that quote again just for you know if it doesn't apply let it fly that can make your life so much easier man especially when you're going on because we got to go into the world we got to maneuver you don't know the scriptures also talk about uh matter of fact i get that salakia um Ecclesiasticus, I want to say 11. Let's see here. Um, yeah, Ecclesiasticus 11 and 9. Strive not in a matter that concerneth thee not. If it doesn't apply, let that shit fly. It don't concern you. So if it doesn't apply to you, let it fly. So again, Ecclesiasticus 11 and 9. Strive not in a matter that concerneth thee not. Sitting on in the judgment with sinners. Yeah, you sitting on in the judgment with sinners because them sinners don't apply to you. Uh, what's that? That classic script in Amos. Can two walk together lest they be agreed? Well, I don't agree with your ass, so you don't apply. So I'm going to let your ass fly. <laughs> all right? That's simple. You know, so Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. Uh, I want to give all glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh Bashimi Awashai, Bashim Rechak Wadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach well. Peace, love, salutation to the elect 144, first fruit, brother Kasha Kualim. Until the next time, Shalom.